Hey there, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I actually ran across something and I thought it was kind of cool. After I did yesterday's Mesa video, I kind of realized maybe I should explore some of the other models in the Fractal. You guys know, if you've been following the channel, I do lots of Marshall stuff and Fendery stuff, some, some kind of Voxy stuff. But uh, there's a ton of other models in here that I never mess with. And I kind of like some of the stuff I got out of the Mesa models yesterday. So messing around, I went um, looking at all the small amp models and I came across the Blues Junior. Now, many years ago, I worked for a music store and the Blues Junior was kind of a new thing at that point, And I hated that amp. I really hated it. And then occasionally I'd go play at blues festivals or jams and that would be the backline amplifier. I just, I grew to never like this amplifier. Uh, and I said, you know what, let's let's see what happens. So the first thing I did was I pulled up the Blues Junior, tried to get a clean sound out of it. And instead of using um, the cabinets that would normally go with it, I used the Leon Todd IR that I use in everything, which uh, I actually got some decent sound. So here's the clean sound. <laughs> Might have some tuning problems in this video. The weather and these are kind of old strings, but I'll try and uh, uh, keep it in tune for you guys. All right, so that was the first sound that I, I got. And then uh, once I got the clean sound, I said, hey, let's get an overdrive. Let's see what happens if I kind of crank it. And I like this. Now this amp, if we go to the amp tab here, uh, the power tubes are uh, EL84, so it could be kind of voxy if you want it to be. Uh, I switched, um, actually maybe it was on the other one. Yeah, so I went, I used the Mullards. I kind of like those a little bit better than the, um, the other ones, the, these guys that were stock. And I didn't even tell a difference. Through my speaker in the room, it sounds kind of cool. Um, I didn't do that for the um, the overdrive one though, didn't even think about trying to be honest with you. So let's give that a spin. I think I'll leave that. It's just, a, it seems a little bit warmer to me, even through my studio monitors. And then the last thing I did with this was that I added um, just uh, an RC booster in front of it, uh, just for a lead. A little bit of delay too, so going from the... So once I got those sounds down with the... Uh, with that speaker, I felt kind of bad because I use that for everything. And I figured maybe let's try it with some of the stock cabinets. So the first three on here um, are going to be the same three sounds, but with the Blues Junior cabinets. One uh, with a 57 and one with a, a Royer 121. <laughs> Still sounds pretty cool, just a little bit different. Here's the crunchy sound. Here's with the uh, uh, other Celestion. Here are the clean sounds. This is with the, uh, the stock cabinet. It's different. I don't know if I like one more than the other, to be honest with you. Um, and then the lead sound on this one. Versus. I think the original speaker is just a little boxy sounding to me. Some. I think the original speaker on this, it's a little boxy maybe uh, to me, but it, it still works pretty good, uh, except for the lead sound. I think I like the other one better.
So I'll upload this for you guys and um, it'll have the stock cabinet in there and then there'll be a link for the Leon Todd one. You can do whatever you want with it. The other two sounds are just clean uh, tremolo. And a dotted eighth delay. I apologize for the tuning issues in this video. This guitar uh, needs strings desperately, and uh, I'll do that after the video. But uh, for the most part, I just wanted to kind of share this with you. It's the shortest video known to man. Uh, just a couple sounds out of an amp. I wasn't expecting to like it. I actually kind of like this. I might start using this, even if it's just for kind of some, some bluesier stuff. Uh, the delay, uh, I've got that dual delay, but then also for everything else, um, if I'm using it, uh, I've got a uh, mono bucket brigade. I've got it turned down quite a bit, just kind of add some ambience. Um, and then the reverb is um, medium spring. Pretty much just a medium spring. I tried to kind of get away from the things that I normally do on all of these. So if you like the video, please hit like, subscribe. Um, links below for the presets and the link to the IR uh, and also um, there's also a link if you want as want uh, you know, sweatshirts and coffee mugs and all that other stuff with the jack on it. Uh, in any event, I'll see you next week.